Around the world, more than 100 million units of blood are transfused each year. But many patients who need blood transfusions do not have access to a safe supply of blood. I'm Shirley Ousuofori. I work in the transfusion medicine unit in the Konfuanochi Teaching Hospital based in Kumasi, Ghana. In Sub-Saharan Africa, there's a big risk in terms of diseases. I mean, for HIV, our burden is high. For hepatitis B and C, it is equally high. There's syphilis. There are unknown viruses and pathogens that are emerging, which could be transmitted through blood. In Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, Ghana, West Africa, where I come from, we tend to have a high residual risk. And therefore, our blood cannot be said to be as safe as in other places. And that's my passion. To help advance blood safety for patients who need the life-saving gift of blood, Terumo BCT partnered with clinical investigators to complete the AIM study, the first and only clinical trial to show that a pathogen reduction technology can effectively reduce the incidence of transfusion transmitted infection of malaria. And AIM stood for African Investigation of the Mirasol System. And our main objective was to look at minimizing or reducing the incidence of transfusion transmitted malaria by pathogen treated whole blood. The arm in which patients received Mirasol treated arm showed a massive reduction in PTM and overall the incidence was reduced by 87% with a p-value less than 0.05. And on terms of safety, we had no major issues with significant treatment, emergent, adverse events. And for the first time, we showed how a pathogen reduction technology could minimize disease transmission in this wonderful way of using Mirasol. The Mirasol PRT system offers the promise of a safer, more secure supply of the life-saving gift of blood for patients in Africa and other geographies where doctors are challenged to advance or protect blood safety. The Mirasol system would act as a major leap from our current status of blood safety with a high residual risk. It would afford us a more safer supply because it reduces bacteria, it reduces viruses, it reduces parasites, and we do have a quite a large number of these pathogens in our blood. Mirasol also inactivates white blood cells, so it would afford the recipients less reactions in terms of transfusion adverse events. 